Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how do I find the volume of a triangular pyramid? So a triangular pyramid has one triangular base and the three triangle faces that meet at a point or an apex. And the height of the pyramid is the distance from the center of the base to that apex. We're gonna have to find the area of that triangular base either by using one half times the base times the height of the triangle or base times height divided by two. That's the one that I'll be using. So here is the formula to find the volume of a triangular pyramid. It is one third times capital B times H, where that capital B means the area of the base. So to find the volume V, we will do one third times the area of the base, which is going to be a triangle. So I'll do base times height divided by two times the height of the pyramid. So it is especially important with triangular pyramids that you label your shape because we have two heights. We're gonna have the height of the triangle and the height of the pyramid, which can get kind of confusing. So let's practice doing that now. I'm gonna label and shade my base. So my base is this triangle here. And I'm going to label the height that is the distance from the center of the base to the point. So again, to find the volume of a triangular pyramid, we will do one third times the area of the base, which is a triangle. So we will do base times height divided by two times the height of the pyramid. So let's look at number one. We wanna find the volume of this triangular pyramid. So I will use the formula V equals one third times the area of the base times the height. So first thing I'm gonna do is shade my triangular base and then I'm gonna circle my height of the pyramid, which is 12. And I'm gonna plug that in for the height and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use that number again. Now I need to find the area of this triangular base by doing base times height divided by two. The base and the height of the triangle, which I will use to find the area of the triangle, form a right angle. So the base and the height of the triangle are eight and seven. So to find the area of the base, I will do seven, the base of the triangle, times eight, the height of the triangle, and divide by two. So it'll be 56 divided by two for the area of the base, which is 28. So now I'm gonna replace capital B with 28, and to find the volume, I'll do one third times 28 times 12. I'm gonna multiply one third times 12 because I know what one third of 12 is, it is four. So to find the volume, I just have to do 28 times four. And I get 112. So the volume of this triangular pyramid is 112 inches cubed. Okay, let's look at number two. I'm gonna find the volume of this triangular pyramid by using the same formula. V equals one third area of the base times the height. So let's shade our triangular base. And then I'm gonna circle my height of 10, plug it into my formula for the height and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. Now I need to find the area of this triangular base which I will find by doing base times height divided by two. My base is 16 and my height of the triangle is 12 since those form a right angle. So to find the area of the base, I will do 12 times 16 divided by two. And I need to figure out what 12 times 16 is. So I'm gonna do that off to the side. So 12 times 16 is 192. So now I need to do 192 to find the area of the base. So the area of the base is 96. 192 divided by two is 96. So I'm gonna plug that in for capital B and then I'll fill in the rest of my formula. The volume is going to be 1 third times 96 times 10. 
96 times one third is going to be 32. So to find the volume, I'll do 32 times 10 and 32 times 10 is 320. So the volume of that triangular pyramid is 320 centimeters cubed. Okay, number three, we're gonna find the volume of this triangular pyramid by using the formula V equals one third area of the base times the height. So let's start by shading our base. And then that makes the height of the pyramid three. So I'm gonna plug that in for the height and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. Now I'm gonna find the area of this triangular base by doing the base times the height of the triangle and dividing by two. The base of this triangle is four and the height would be 0 0.5 since those are the measures that form the right angle. So to find the area, I will do the base of four times the height of 0 0.5 divided by two. Four times 0 0.5 or half of four is two. So the area of the base will be two divided by two, which is one. So now I'm going to fill in the rest of the formula. Capital B, I just found it, it was one. So to find the volume, I'll do one third times one times three. So one third times one is one third and then one third times three. So that's one third times three is one. So the volume of this triangular pyramid is one meter cubed. Okay, number four says the triangular pyramid shown has a base area of 12. So they already found this base area here. They found capital B. It is 12. What is the volume in cubic inches? So to find the volume, we're going to do one third times the area of the base times the height. So they already found capital B, the base area for me, it was 12. And then the height, they gave it to me in the picture, it is seven. So to find the volume, I'll do one third times 12 times seven. So one third of 12 is four. So to find the volume, I'll do four times seven and four times seven is 28. So the volume of this triangular pyramid would be 28 inches cubed. Okay, number five says the volume of a triangular prism is 120 meters cubed. The height is 60 meters. What is the area of the base? So let's write out the formula we're going to be working with. It is, oh, it says triangular prism. That's supposed to be a pyramid. So the volume of the triangular pyramid, that formula would be V equals one third area of the base times the height. They gave me the volume, it is 120. The area of the base, I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna put B equals question mark. And then the height they gave that to me, that is 60. So now let's plug in what we have. The volume was 120 equals one third times the area of the base. I don't know what that is. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna leave it as a capital B. And then times the height, they told me the height, it is 60. So I've set up an equation with the volume of a pyramid formula, and now I'm going to use it to find that missing area of the base that they're asking for. So first thing I'm gonna do is simplify this right side by multiplying one third times 60, which is 20. So I have 120 equals 20 times B. And to get B by itself, I'm going to divide by 20 and 120 divided by 20. Six. So that means that the area of the base is six meters squared. Okay, and number six says a triangular prism and a triangular pyramid both have a base area of 24 units. 
and a height of 10 units. Find their volumes and explain how it relates to their formulas. So let's start with the triangular prism. A prism has a volume formula of V equals BH. And the base area is 24. And the height is 10. So to find this volume, I'll do 24 times 10, which is 240 units cubed. So that is for the prism. And then the pyramid has a formula of V equals one third area of the base times the height. The area of the base is 24, just like the last one, and the height is 10, just like the last one. So to find the volume, I'll do 1 third times 24 times 10. 1 third times 24 is 8, and then 8 times 10 is 80. So the volume of the pyramid would be 80 units cubed. So the volume of the prism is 240 and the volume of the pyramid is 80. So 80 is 240, or 80 is one third of 240, which we can see in the formulas. A pyramid is going to be one third of a prism that has the same base area and height. So a pyramid is one third of a prism with the same base area and height.